My name is Graham Annable. Um, originally from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. I spent a lot of time in Toronto, spent a lot of time in the Bay Area, and I've been in Portland for two and a half years now. I've always drawn. I mean, I'm sure every other cartoonist says the same thing, but it's just been, for me, the best way to express myself or most comfortable way. I've just always gravitated towards cartoons and comics. And I guess maybe that's why I didn't, uh, I've never referred to myself as a writer, even though I guess I'm doing storytelling. It's always been visually. It's, I, I would never consider myself a guy good with words. Most of my stuff will start with like uh, little doodles on pieces of paper and uh, it's usually an image that will spark the rest of it. I mean, I certainly write words once I get going, but uh, yeah, it's usually always visuals first, yeah. I've definitely met a lot of people who have come to Portland not to stay, but to kind of chill out for a year or half a year. And it seems like it's just kind of that place where it's a little more relaxed. I think I've had a little more time to kind of reflect on things and kind of noodle about stuff. And this city just seems to have a general attitude towards that. I mean, it's, it's got a real strong artistic community and I'm amazed at how it's just, every, every artist here just kind of follows their own beat and it's sort of, uh, encouraged. It's, the city's kind of built a reputation on that from what I can see, which is great. So I think people are kind of allowed the space and time to kind of find themselves up here, uh, which was something I was hoping would be the case, and it definitely seems to be. And maybe it's just my perception, but it just feels like there's less categories up here. It's, it's a little more loose. Everybody kind of, the artists that I've met, I mean, everybody's in a rock band or some kind of mu musical band up here everybody seems to cross over on a lot of different things and like I said and they're all kind of following their own little tune which is which is great that's a lot of unique bizarre stuff that seems to happen up here again it just seems to be part of the culture here of sort of grassroots they're really all about supporting local anything <laughs> and comics is a big part of Portland these days and yeah so they're all the shops that I've been in are usually really supportive and uh, you'll see a lot of area in the store devoted to independent stuff, which is great. Everybody seems to read a lot here, uh, and seem very, very maybe overly informed about things sometimes, but it's great. I mean, there's a lot of good discussions to be had in Portland, uh, I think, again, because people have the time to, to sit down and read and look through stuff. Um, and that's kind of the way I've always liked to live my life, is to, I love being surrounded by books and, uh, and art, and the city's just got tons of it.